Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now, it's a very special video today. I am trying out a brand new setup, a brand new microphone, brand new everything, and we're going to be unpackaging all of these Delta Series packs. Woo wee! Now these are quite old, but honestly they're one of my favorite series. All of the figures are really cool and excellent additions to anyone's collection. So we're gonna tear open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these bad boys. If you like this kind of video, we'll do more blind bag openings in the future. I've added a small tear mark so I can easily get into each of these packets, but I have no idea what's inside. Let's tear the first one open. Whoa, what do we have? First we'll have a look at the instruction manual or at least the selection. I love when they have a nice picture of them all fighting, really cool. And we've got all of these awesome figures. The Marine, I'm really hoping to get my hands on the Marine. An EVA would be nice, definitely the Black Elite and the Flood. We'll see how many we get, hopefully not too many grunts. And the first one is a yellow Spartan. Is it War Master? It's something. I, I honestly, I always lose track of all the different 343 armors. I don't know, they just made too many. And I like the good old days where it's Halo 3 and you just, you know what different armors are which because there aren't even that many. So you can easily keep track of what different armors people have. Don't even get me started on Halo 5 Guardians where the armor you have is, isn't even remotely associated with how good you are at the game. It's more just your luck. You can just pull the best armor in the game from the first gold pack you ever open. I absolutely hate that idea. Yeah, this is a cool figure. I don't know if I have many of this one in my collection, so I'll definitely add it to the shelf. They all come with these nice black base plates and this one has a silver DMR. We're off to a good start. I believe that is a... Is it a common figure? Okay, it's a common figure. I also, I don't know if the guy uh, actually coded these. Maybe they're, a lot of them are the common figures. All right, we've got the second one. It's, hey, it's the Black Elite, fantastic. I was really hoping to see some more of this Black Elite. I think it's probably the, well, no, the, the one I'm looking for the most is definitely the flood form but this one is also a really cool figure in my opinion the best thing that mega blocks have done with the new articulation is the elites they stand really tall they look totally menacing i'm really happy with these okay and also yeah i mean so i'm sure some people will comment that i'm making them wrong i always seem to put the armor together in the wrong way but uh usually i do it just to the book but I'm doing it on camera, so I want to just, like, make it really fast, but apologies if they're put together wrong. Also, yeah, do let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. I usually quick cut and edit my videos, so they're really tight, they're really small. I think one of the worst things you can do on YouTube is just make sure that your video is over 10 minutes so you can get that ad revenue. I really don't like that. I think you need to sort of respect your craft and make the video exactly the length it's supposed to be. So I always try and shrink my videos down, but this is a new format, you know, I'm just gonna sort of, just gonna sort of talk to the camera and see if people like that kind of thing. Okay, this Black Elite has the plasma pistol, very nice. I'm really hoping that I can score more than one of this guy. Figure number three. You know what, I'm gonna go for one of these bulky ones, get it out the way because I know there's some grunts in here. Bop, 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 off he goes. Grunts are always the thing, you, you don't really want to pull a grunt in a blind bag. You feel like you should, you're spending the money, you want to get something a little better. But these are the old articulation grunts before the new articulation. I love the new articulation storm grunts, but this is just old. Still looks good, and he's got some nice light detailing on his backpack there. I can't thank you enough recently for all the support you've been giving me. And this is another grunt. Ah. <laughs> Okay, we've got two grunts. Hopefully we don't have three. Oh, this one's actually pre-built. I guess his torso didn't fall apart. But yeah, guys, I mean, I, I really can't thank you enough for all the support you've been giving me recently. It, I just, I, I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock and awe because I started my YouTube channel back up again and I had absolutely no idea that it would become popular, that people would actually still be around, like fans that have been watching it since the old days are still on the channel. That's so amazing. Okay, what is this figure? It's, ooh, some <laughs> hot pink. Uh, I'm excited about this one because I know my girlfriend likes the pink Spartans and I'm really trying to get her to like Halo. I think, I think it's working, honestly. But 
that's really cool. Nice pink Spartan. Is that Pioneer or something? I don't, I don't even... You know, I really don't know the armors uh, for, like, Halo 4 and Halo 5. I just, I just like me some Bungie-era Halo games, all right? I like, I mean, I respect a lot of the decisions 343's made. I like some of the games, but the one thing that I just don't like is the enormous abundance of armor and, like, th just how obnoxious the amount of different armor variations is. It, it, it just doesn't work for me. But I do, I mean, I do love the warrior and the soldier armors. I think they're fantastic, but... They're just, there's just too many of them. I mean, how do you, how do you even see out of that? Where's the eye holes? <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of uh, reasoning behind it. But yeah, guys, this is a, this is a really strange time for me, you know. Um, I'm currently in transition mode. I mean, we've all been on lockdown over the past uh, however many months. The UK has been on lockdown for four months. But... I thank the lockdown for being able to restart this YouTube channel. I would have never had the time and opportunity to do this, but the lockdown has really pushed me to start up my YouTube channel again and and find absolute success with it. That's pretty cool. I don't I don't honestly know if I ever got that figure before, so that's really nice. And yeah, I mean, it's a it's a funny time, um, but Peggy and I, my, my girlfriend, we are deciding to move back to Hong Kong, where we were living before the lockdown, and we're going to be moving back there really soon. So, it's going to be a really strange time, and I only hope that your support continues when I get to Hong Kong. Woo! It's... <laughs> oh boy, okay. I, uh, I, uh, I didn't want two of those. I'll tell you that for nothing. Two... Pink Spartans, eh? Okay, let's uh, let's build this one up again. I guess I can give one to my girlfriend. I guess I'll keep one for myself. Definitely don't need two Storm Grunts, especially with the new articulation ones. Um, but yeah, once we arrive in Hong Kong, we're going to be leaving at the end of next month, at the end of July, and there'll be a lot of videos actually about that leading up to it. And uh, you know, I like to keep you guys informed, so I'll. I'll keep you very well posted exactly what's happening and how our transition to Hong Kong is going. I'm also going to be doing a lot of vlogs when I get there, like some some lockdown. We have to do a 14-day quarantine when we arrive in Hong Kong, so I'll be making a lot of videos in that time, utilize the time, and then honestly, uh, we're going to be looking for work in Hong Kong again, but I would really hope that when we get back to Hong Kong, I'm making enough money and I've got enough views from this YouTube channel to have it as a sideline and to only work part-time in Hong Kong so I can still focus on videos. That really is only due to the success of the channel. If the channel continues to grow, then that will be the plan. Two pink Spartans and two grunts. Let's really hope that we don't get any more repeats. I would really like some more different... Oh, wait. Uh, no, this might not be... Uh, I don't know if these are grunts. I really hope there's not another grunt. Maybe this is... Oh, whoa! Okay. Okay, I'll take this. This is the Promethean Sniper. Alright, I'm, I'm happy with that. I've got a lot of new Halo Mega Bloks packs coming from the US, so I'll be able to do some openings then. Maybe I'll do a live stream of it, because this is essentially just a live stream. Okay. We got one more today. I'm feeling it. It's not a grunt, I don't think, which is the only thing that matters to me. I would really like it to be a Marine or the Flood. That would be amazing. Marine or Flood, I'll take an EVA. Just don't give me a... Oh, I'll take an Elite as well. Just don't give me a repeat of one of these four. Let's go. I'll just choose a random piece. Oh, oh is it the Flood? Yeah, it's the Flood. Fantastic. That's exactly what I was looking for. That's really cool. I, I The guy had coded them, uh, like, on the eBay listing, he said exactly what codes they were, which made me worried that he already knew, like, what was rare and what was not, so he was going to fix them, like, rig the, rig the bidding, but uh, I made sure not to check any of the codes online, so I was surprised with the draw, and here I am surprised. This is fantastic. I'm really happy that I could get hold of another one of these floods. I only ever got one, so there is a second one. Okay, so we've got a flood infection form from Halo 4. So cool, I, I love the design. 
for Halo 4. I thought it was fantastic. And then we've got two of these pink uh, Spartan Pioneers. I don't know what they are. The Crawler Sniper, the two Grunts. Grunts aren't, gr like, Grunts are a good thing to army build. I'm not mad about that. Then we've got the Elite, and we've got this guy here, whatever this armor is. I don't, I don't even know. Centurion something? Uh, Warmaster? Might be Warmaster. Yeah, guys, this was another video with The Domain, and I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I'm really trying to reinvest in my channel right now. I bought a brand new microphone, which you'll be hearing my dulcet tones from here, a uh, new camera rig, I bought a steady cam so I can have fluid shots, and I also bought a spinning turntable, which you will have seen in this video, just to make my, my, my videos pop. My subscribers are still increasing, and hopefully by the end of July, if they've increased enough, then I'll be able to live my dreams in Hong Kong and do videos because it'll either be I do part-time in Hong Kong or full-time in Hong Kong. And I'll see you guys next time. The Flood infection form is signing off in all his slithery glory. Blah.